Welcome to episode two of Tasting Florida Grown Pomegranates. In the previous episode, we talked a little bit about the project that we've had underway here at the University of Florida for several years. And we now have trees that are anywhere from one to three years of age, and we've been harvesting fruit from them as they become available. So it's important to learn what flavor they have, what the seeds are like, and so forth. And that's what we're doing today is to continue on with our activity and tasting some new ones that have produced fruit for the first time this year. So the first one we're going to taste this morning is one called Azadi, and it's a yellow fruit, a fairly good sized fruit. And we're going to extract the seeds by cutting off the two ends of the fruit. And if you've been on the web, you know that there are many suggested ways to open a pomegranate fruit and extract the seeds. What I like to do is remove the ends, as you've just seen, score the size of the fruit, and then break it apart. That works pretty nicely. Oftentimes, when somebody is describing how to open a pomegranate fruit, they explain that it should be done a particular way to avoid getting your hands and your clothing all messed up with the juice of the pomegranate fruit. Well, guess what? This one is not going to be a problem because it has white seeds, and therefore, it's unlikely that you're going to stain anything. So, I'm happy to have with me this morning Kathy and Brandon are going to help us uh, taste these fruit and see what their characteristics are. And we're going to use the rating system or the scoring system that we've been using all along, which is if you don't like the fruit, pick up a yellow tag, a, a red tag, and flip that in the bucket. If you really like it, a green one, and then every once in a while we're not certain as to whether we like it or not, so that's going to be the yellow tag. So we're going to score each of these. Now, one of the first observations is the color of the seed. And I'd like to say again that there's some confusion about what is a seed and what is this thing that's actually consumed called the arrow of the fruit. Well, actually, when you take a look at the seeds of a pomegranate, as we see here, they are indeed the seeds. And the arrow itself, which is the fleshy outer part of the seed, <clears throat> is exactly that, just a part of the seed that's part that's consumed. So the arrow is a part of the seed, okay? Now, the size of these seeds is um, fairly decent, and they appear to have a little bit of a pinkish color to them, by and large. So we're going to start here by <clears throat> tasting a few of these, see what everyone thinks. Kathy, try a few of those, and Brandon, try a few of those, and pop them in. Pop them in, let's see what we have. Mm. Uh, <laughs> each of you would take a color tag mm -hmm. and decide where you Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. What about the... Um, the seeds are soft. Okay, right. the seeds are soft. That's an important point. Anything else strike you about the, this particular one? Soft seeds is very important, yeah, actually, in the market these yeah. days, So, and they have a mild flavor to them. Mm -hmm. And right yeah, away, we got, we, got, um, we got three greens right away, so I guess we're all in agreement that's a pretty, uh, pretty decent one. Yeah. And a lot of juice, too. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, uh, each time that we taste a different fruit, the name of the variety is right here, so uh, don't get lost. Next up is this moderately red fruit called Al Sirenar. And it's um, sort of a smallish to medium sized fruit, it has very good color development. Now let's see what the inside looks like. So once again, we slice away the top of the fruit and the uh, more or less ugly bottom part of the fruit and score the outside. Get ready to break it apart. Uh, you can see already that uh, these are 
seeds with a little better color than the one that we just uh, mm -hmm. tested, the Azadi. This is Al Sirenar again. And this is one that's created quite a bit of interest in Florida this year. We have a number of trees at various locations around the state that are now producing fruit for the first time, and so we have a good look at it. Now, <clears throat> pretty good color development on the outside of the fruit as well as in the seeds. And it may not be readily evident from what you're seeing now, but the seeds are pretty large. They're very good oh, size. Yeah. So let's see what we have here. They're the same as the other, same size as the other. And uh, okay, just don't eat the pit. Seeds are a lot harder here. Okay. A few more. Sure. Yeah, the seeds are harder. Seeds are harder. Mm -hmm. Are they consumable, or they just require a little more work well, to, to eat? I'd say you, you got to, yeah, you're chewing okay. them, okay. but the flavor is good. You think so. you would describe these as like sort of a, a, a medium seed or a, a, a hard seed? Sorry, a hard seed would be one you would not consume. You, you, you'd want to discard that. In that case, it'd be medium. Yeah, okay. I'd say it's medium. You can consume these. Okay. What do you think about the flavor? I like it. Yeah, I can see it's probably a medium seed because it's, um, it's a little harder to... Mm -hmm. Work your way through it, but but you can, you can I, consume it. It's not. I don't think it's as hard as a peanut, though. No. no. So flavor, to me, flavor's got just a, a little. It's a little, a little tart. Just a little bit. But so. Still, good. Not okay, well. I want to try some more. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I won't refuse them. <laughs> Brandon, I've still got some. Okay. So, what's our vote? Yeah. What did y'all think? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to be the yellow guy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're... That's a decent the flavor. Are, the, the seeds, are, 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 to me, are, yeah. are still very edible. They're, they're not... Right. They're okay. not... Okay. Okay. So, next... Look at that. That is an incredible fruit. It's hard to believe, I'm sure, for many folks that a fruit of this size and this beauty could be produced in Florida, a non-native environment for the pomegranate, but there it is. This is a selection called gherkinets, and it seems to be pretty typical. The plants that we have around Florida have fruited for the first time this year, so this is the first crop. Very large fruit. By the way, once again, people often ask, how do you tell when a pomegranate is mature? Well, if you take a look at this fruit end on, you'll notice that it's not really round. It has some flat sides on it, and that's a sure sign that the fruit is mature. I noticed that this morning, and I asked. <laughs> I like this fruit so much, it really hurts me to have to cut it apart this morning. <laughs> All right, I'm going to score this guy and split it open and see what we got. Beautiful fruit. At least this represents potential in Florida. Wow. Look at them fall out. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. It's a beauty, fellow. It's a beauty. Mm -hmm. These are large seeds and uh, pinker in color. And let's see what we have. Oh. Can I see the seeds? Seeds are softer here. Are softer than softer. this one. Yeah. Not quite as soft as the first one. Right. But they're definitely not anywhere near what the other one was. And I think the flavor's better than the one we just tasted before that. Mm -hmm. There's no tart to it at all. Mm -hmm. I can do both of these. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that, that eats a lot easier than the, the last one. Mm -hmm. yeah, and just kind of like, like popping peanuts or something. Yeah. Or, you know, a nice yeah. edible. Yeah. Right. We um, 
tasted all of these dry. yesterday at the Pomegranate Field Day we had up at Water Conserve too. All the information about that, by the way, is on the website, including the handout. <clears throat> and we put this one out in the taste test for the first time this year, and it was very popular. Mm -hmm. Using the same system of the colored paper, this was 100% green yesterday. So it went over very well. Good. Okay, so that is Gherkinets. Looks very promising, let's say, at least for... Florida. Okay. Next on the list. Another sort of reasonably well-colored fruit. I'd like to say that Azadi is one of my favorites so far, and this one is Madovyi Vasha, and it looks pretty interesting so far. In fact, we're going to propagate this one and plant more of it. Again, a smallish to medium-sized fruit, fairly well-colored on the outside. And let's see. Wow. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We're not going yeah, okay. Red seeds have gotten redder and uh, ever. Sort of medium sized to small sized um, seeds. Not quite as big as the other, but close. Yeah. Very soft seeds. Very soft seeds, yes, that's what I recall about this yeah. one. The W. Vash had feel. soft seeds. Yeah. Can't feel seed. Very soft seeds. I mean, you Whoa. can't even notice that they're there. Yeah, these, no. th these, these just disappear. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Well. I think I can live with that. The flavor. It's got a little nutty taste to it. Almost. Yeah. Your peanut kind of taste. Pretty okay. good. Yeah. Very soft seeds. I mean, flavor they Flavor is like a little short, maybe. It's not just not quite right. a deep flavor there. Right. Okay. Mm. So... What's our vote on this one? No, we can put it right think? in here. Okay. I think I'm going to go medium on yeah, that one. Yeah. I like the soft seeds, but the flavor just needs a little punch. All right. So to summarize this one then, we had a smallish to medium sized fruit, probably small to medium sized seeds, really soft seeds, and good color, both internal and external, mm -hmm. but still lacking a little bit maybe in flavor. In right. flavor. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Next up, another sort of smallish to medium sized fruit, Sur Anur. And uh, this one is quite well colored, I guess, for the Florida environment, but uh, still has some pink on the peel. Let's see what the inside of this one looks like. Very interesting. It's always surprising opening up these fruit. Here we are. Should be pretty clear. We have a somewhat colored peel, absolutely white seeds at this point in time. Although it's easy to be fooled because this might be a later maturing selection and the internal color development simply just hasn't taken place yet, which might explain why it is. But let's see how it tastes. Maybe the flavor is pretty good, even though the seeds haven't uh, colored up that well. One thing we noticed. Oh, yeah. Little pearls, right? Little pearls. Little pearls. Very obvious yeah. right there. We've noticed too with the fruit when when I've helped him before with when we've cut them, is it matures the opposite way that it grows. The seed color changes. Oh, okay. It comes from instead of coming from stem right, right. out, it mean. goes from where flower top was from the crown down. Right, right. <laughs> this one's got a little more bitterness to it. And the seeds are not the hardest we've had yet, but a little harder than this is hard. the last couple. Yeah. And the seeds are hard. Yep. 
medium sized fruit, good peel color development. At this point in its development, which may be early, it has little white pearls as uh, seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, seed hardness is, what would we say about seed hardness? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the one we tested before where yeah. it, it was just barely consumable, medium seeds, right? right. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we got for Suranur. All right, very good. Let's see. Let get the white and red ones mixed together here. All right. This one, this is going to be interesting because the name of this selection is Sweet. Mm -hmm. Sort of set you up. Let's see what happens. Again, a medium-sized fruit. Appears to be a yellow fruit primarily. Um, again, it may not have undergone its full development at this point in time, but sweet. Let's see what sweet does. Early indications are pink seeds. All right, open this up and. Uh, a little bit of pink development in some of the seeds uh, at one end of the fruit, but by and large, white seeds. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, the seeds are not sweet. <laughs> no. <laughs> the seeds are fairly soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, softer than the last. Yeah. But yeah, it's got a little, little I bite think, to it. A little I think by our experience today, you know, they'd be medium seeds. Mm -hmm. Yellowish fruit, white to pinkish seeds and the fact that there's some seeds in here that have a little bit of pink development might suggest that this fruit is not quite mature yet that right. it's got to go a little bit further and there'll be some more color development in there so anyway that's where we are with sweet okay now this is an interesting fruit this next one it's a fairly large fruit it has sort of almost like a peach-like color development on the outside. And this, surprisingly, is the wonderful fruit, which is the popular fruit that comes from California every year. This is a wonderful fruit as it's grown in Florida. So the color on the outside certainly is not at all what we expect from the wonderful fruit as it's grown in California. So let's see what the insides look like. And it's a a little mystery every time we open one of these. Mm -hmm. what's, it, what's, what's it gonna look like? Mm -hmm. Holy cow, look at that. The seeds are red. Mm -hmm. And we have, there's some evidence of reddish peel development on the fruit. Maybe again, this variety will have a home in Florida, but it won't look just exactly like it does in California. One thing I probably should point out too, is like even though the outer skin layers are looks scarred or the insides are not. Well. At least not on this one. <laughs> no. Okay. So. Is this going to be a wonderful experience? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look pretty. Look at that. Pretty good color development. Not as red as a couple of the other varieties, but not bad for uh, the flower experience. And probably, again, not fully developed color-wise. So, what do we got? I think the seeds are still not soft, soft, but they're not. I think mean, they're not as hard as the ones that we've had. Yeah. Large fruit. Fairly nice internal like color flavor. development. Flavor is very mild. Flavor mm -hmm. is mild. Seeds are mm, 
not soft like this. Two kind of really a, soft ones we tasted. It's, it's in between soft and medium. And yeah, you can feel them, but yeah, they're mm -hmm. not that bad. They get yeah. through. And they don't. They're not. Even though you have the seeds, they're not sticking in your teeth either. Yeah. Well, I'm not quite ready no, to rate that one. It's ready really for prime time, so. Uh, maybe a little bit later that one will come along and it'll be something really substantial. But it's, let's just say it's off to a good start. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Here's the last one. Excellent size fruit. Really good color development. And uh, someone said at the field day yesterday, did you cherry pick that fruit? Is that one that's just a little bit different, a little bit better than the other one? And the answer to that question is no. This is... For the plant from which this was harvested, this was a typical fruit. So that probably among all the fruit we've looked at this morning, this is the one with the best ex external color. And this is called Vicuzni. Let's see what we have. Uh -huh. Deep mm -hmm. red. This might be the, the best match of external color with internal color that we've seen among this group today. Yeah, the, the, the peel looks to be a little thinner on this one too, it's compared to some of the other Good observation. Ones. It's it's uh, it's slicing a little easier than the other ones. Wow. And uh, certainly external internal, that's the best we've done. That's a good match. Uh, so far, so that's really, uh, really something. They're just beautiful. You can tell there's the juice too. I'm looking at the juice flowing. <laughs> well, but how does it taste? Yeah, I like it. Soft seeds. Yeah, the soft you seeds. Really them. Okay. And it's definitely an in between. It's not super sweet and it's not super tart. No. It's got a nice. It's a, it's a good change up between. You it's know, a refreshing sweet, flavor. Tart, yeah. That's the best way I could describe a refreshing flavor. Yeah, not bad. Mm -hmm. Good enough for me to do a green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that right. wraps it up for this morning's exercise. My thanks to Kathy and Brandon for helping with the tape testing. And you'll also, when you view this video, you will see uh, pictures, still pictures that we took of each of the fruit and the arrows and uh, the website address where you can come and gather more information about our pomegranate project here in Florida.